Movies are like icebergs. What we see on the big screen is only the tip. There are a lot more things beneath the surface. They call it deleted scenes. In this video, we will explore the most important deleted scenes from Marvel movies that will make you think, damn, how could they delete it? At the end of this video, you might just find your new favorite scene. Let's dive in. Remember the entry scene of Captain America The Avengers? We saw him training in the gym with a boxing bag. But what if I tell you that was the end of the actual scene? They deleted 90% of that. Before going to training, he was in a room watching his documentary from World War II. And then he looks at a file that shows the status of Bucky Barnes, Howard Stark, Tony and Peggy Carter. He saw Bucky missing in action after he fell down the train in the first movie. But Peggy Carter is alive and retired. Steve saw his phone number there, but he decided not to call her. He was not sure how she would react to seeing him after all these years. Then he goes out to a cafe, draws the buildings on a paper, talks to a waitress, and there's a Stan Lee cameo over here. As for her number, you moron. After that, he goes to the gym that we saw in the movie, and we see he actually paid for the gym and started working out. You know the rest of the story. Left. Come on! Okay, this is not actually a deleted scene, but you probably didn't see this in the movie. In Captain America The Winter Soldier, here Sam Wilson recommends Steve to a movie. Marvin Gaye, 1972, Trouble Man soundtrack. He gets his notebook and writes it down. This scene shows us that he keeps a list of things he doesn't know or miss. Steve Jobs, Moon Landing, Rocky, Nirvana, Disco? What the okay, if you watch it in the United States or in most of the world, you probably saw this list. However, this list changes for some countries. They added Shakira for Latin America, Soviet dissolution for Russia, World Cup for Italy, and so on. You can pause to read it if you want. The producer Nate Moore said that they didn't want Captain America to be a hero just for America. They wanted him to be the hero for the entire world. And they chose these notes with the help of the world. They asked a list of questions online for each region, and the top 5 answers got the final movie in that country. I think it's a great example of how even the smallest detail can make a big difference in telling a story. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, you can support my work by liking this video. It helps the channel grow a lot. Thank you. Now, back to the video. In Spider-Man Homecoming, during their trip to Washington DC, we were supposed to see a brief scene referencing Captain America the Winter Soldier. As you remember, after Captain America escaped the SHIELD headquarters, he broke some part of the building and the helicarriers. In Spider-Man's deleted scene, Peter and Ned see that building destroyed and talk about why would Captain escape. It was just a night 20 second scene, referencing that connection. They probably removed it because it doesn't add something to the story. In Infinity War's final battle, Thanos used the Soul Stone to extract the souls of Guardians of the Galaxy, and Peter Parker was there to help them get back to their bodies. Thanos did the same to Doctor Strange, but he used astral traveling like he did before to reach Peter and help him bring the souls to their body. Spider-Man first saved Mantis, then Nebula, Quill and Drax. Doctor Strange said Mantis can fix them with their powers, but she had no idea how to do that. At the end, she figured it out and saved others, but as you know, they cut out this scene entirely from the final movie because they thought it would just make a chaotic scene even more complex. But we still have an unfinished version of it. Even though things look a bit weird, it gives us an idea of how it would be if they added it to the film. Now you know how important the visual effects are in science fiction movies. In Thor Ragnarok, we saw Thor and Loki seeing their father for the last time in Norway, right after Odin's death. Hela comes, destroyed Mjolnir, and they go to Asgard. But in the deleted version of this scene, they are meeting in a random street. Thor and Loki find Odin in a completely different situation here. He tells them Asgard is not a real place. Ragnar and Hela are coming. Then he gives the thunder power to Thor and makes him the king. After that, Hela comes in, kills Odin, and destroys Mjolnir. What the hell? So, why did they remove it and shot another version? Their reason is, again, the test audience. The director Taika Waititi says, when they showed the movie to a test audience, they said Odin's story should not end like that. And after that reaction, the crew took the scene that we saw in the final movie. To be honest, I like the final version and the way they finished Odin's story. Okay, that was it for this video. If you liked it, you should watch this one too. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.